Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is new Java FX video tutorial session for you. In this session, we are going to apply some CSS and we are going to change the color of the text element on Java FX chart. So guys, let's get started. Here in this tutorial, I will show you how to apply a CSS and then how to change the text element color on a Java FX chart. So we are taking the Java FX line chart example and we are going to change these components color like chart content chart title color change access label color change then we have chart legend shape change and we have a legend item symbol color change so we are going to apply the css and we will do these changes in netbeans ide so guys this is the netbeans ide and right now you can see this is the project Java FX line chart already created. I would like to tell I have used the same Java FX project in my first tutorial on Java FX line chart. I would suggest please watch that video first. I have given the link in the description. Now guys first I will run this project and I will show you what we have right here. Now you can see on this stage we have this uh, Java FX line chart. You can see we have the title but in different color and uh, on the left hand side and we have this y axis label and at the bottom we have the x axis label also we have these legends symbol and the legends item text so by applying the css we will do some changes on these items i'm going to explain you right here let's get started once again so guys first we have to add one CSS file. If you guys are not aware, so please watch my video how to use CSS in JavaFX project. I have given the link of that video in the description as well. Please watch that and you will get the clear understanding on that. Now, but here in this JavaFX line chart, I will simply explain you what I have done. So basically I have added one CSS package here and then I have added a .css file. And inside this CSS we will write some CSS. So let me open this CSS. As you can see we have these uh, JavaFX project files. Now I am opening the file in which we have done the major change which is very important to apply the CSS on a stage. After the line 25, you can see we are calling uh, get style sheet method and we are adding, we are calling the add method and then we are passing the relative path of the CSS. So you can say at this line we are applying the CSS on the stage. If you will not use this line, you will write the CSS, but CSS will not be applicable on your JavaFX stage or on your JavaFX components. So guys, if you have done this thing, now we will come inside this CSS file. I have already written these CSS classes and I will explain you uh, the use of all these CSS classes and the impact on the JavaFX chart. So first class is dot chart. Basically, I want to explain you here. If you want to use padding for JavaFX chart, you can use it this way. FX padding. If I am setting this padding 10 pixel, so JavaFX chart will take the padding from left, right, top and bottom with 10 pixel and this will display the JavaFX chart on the stage. Now let me run this example first. You can see this is the default one. Right now there is no CSS applied. Okay but by default this is taking the padding 10 pixel now i will change this uh, padding to 14. so you can notice the difference easily now this will take the padding 40 pixel from top from bottom from left and from right now i'm taking the clean build and i will run it so you can easily notice that what's going on here Okay, I'm going to run this file.
So guys, we got this stage. As you can see, this is our JavaFX line chart and this line chart is appearing as per taking the padding 40 pixel from top and 40 pixel from bottom. And that's why this chart is little bit compressed and appearing little bit small as compared to the default size. So everything is included here like the title, the left axis label, bottom axis label and the legends. So all these components are included and will be affected if you will apply the FX padding 40 pixel by using dot chart class. Now I'm going to take you on the another class and I will explain you the use of it. If you are going to use the chart content and you will apply the padding, this will impact the chart in a different way. Let me run the chart first. Right now the padding is 10 pixel. If you will not use default padding will be 10 pixel. Okay, so there will be no change right now. You can see this is the current state or you can say the default state. Now if you apply the CSS, so I'm uh, doing the changes. So I'm setting the padding 40 pixel here. So we can notice the uh, impact of this class. Okay, change is done. So I have to take the clean build again for it. Okay guys, now I'm going to run it. Okay, stage is appeared. Now you can see the line chart is appearing here on the stage. You can notice here the title and the legends are at the same place as they were appearing in a default state. But the padding is applied only on the chart content. So you can say if you are using the chart content class, the padding will be applied on the chart content. So leaving these two things, rest of the chart will be displayed after 40 pixel padding. So you can see the gap. This is the 40 pixel. Okay. So these two things will remain same at its position. First one is the title and the second one is the legend. I hope this is clear. Also, I hope you are clear on the drift difference between the dot chart class and dot chart content. Now I have done a simple one more change. So I have increased the padding of the 70 pixels to explain you more clearly. Now going to run it again and I will show you this stage here. Now you can see. So guys you can notice the padding is increased and this is the 70 pixel now and the chart is compressed and this is appearing a bit is small than the previous state. So these are the two classes which we can use. Now guys moving to the next class and uh, we are going to change the title color and the title font size. So we can use dot chart hyphen title. This is the class we are going to use. And uh, simply you have to use FX text fill and then you can provide the color of your choice. Right now I'm giving the hexadecimal color code at this place. You have a choice. You can give the color name by simply typing the color name at this place. Let me show you. If you type something blue, so you will get the list of all the color relevant to the blue or starting with the B character. So. In this drop down list, you can select the color of your choice. So I have added blue wallet. Now I want to change the font size little bit and going to increase uh, two pixel something. So I will add 1.8 EM. So this class will impact the text title text color and this will increase the font size. Now moving to the next one, guys, you have seen uh, the access label which was appearing on the left hand side and the bottom of the chart we can set the color for those as well so simply call this class dot access label and then use the property fx text fill then give the color name 
so i am providing the color name brown you can provide the hexadecimal color at this place as well this is done now moving to the next class which is not most important but little bit helpful if you are doing some customization on your javafx chart now we will change the shape of the legend item symbol which were appearing as at the legend at the bottom of the chart so there is a simple class chart legend item symbol and you can use this property fx background radius and set it to 0 if you set the radius 0 the circle will appear like a square i hope this is clear and guys the next one is if you want to change the legend item text color so you can use this class chart legend item and then you have to use fx text fill and set the color so this is the fifth one the fifth change we are doing here fx text fill and set the color you can also provide the hexadecimal color as i have told you so i am taking any random color like aquamarine okay guys now uh, file is saved and uh, finally i will take the clean build of this project and uh, we will do test run and after that we will observe what are the impact of this css on javafx chart so i will open the stage on the right hand side and we will see the impact of the css side by side now going to run this okay here we go we got this stage and let me open the css so guys uh, i have already uh, reset the content chart content padding so i am not explaining that thing here but the changes we are getting here the chart title is changed and the color is now blue violet and the font size is increased as well the axis label y axis label and the x axis label changed and the color is brown right now okay and after that we have uh, done the change with the legend item symbol we set the radius 0 as i have told you if we are setting the radius 0 this will convert to a square so look at here this is the square so this css impacting at this place i hope this is clear now the next item is legend text if you want to change the color of the legend text so the last css classes you have to use and this is the series basically series has a name and that name will appear here in the legend text if you guys have seen my first video on the javafx line chart so you will be clear on this okay so i was telling if you want to change the text color you can use chart legend item and then apply the css property fx text fill set the color now this is appearing aquamarine so guys these are the changes we have done with the help of css on java fx line chart i hope you guys clear on these concepts if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help